welcome student on another video lecture topic is steroids and in that today we are going to discuss a drug that is diasporia synonym is yam biological source diasporia consists of dry tubers of number of wild and cultivated diasporia species like diasporia datadia mol diasporia praseri prain diasporia floribunda mart and diasporia composite these are the different species which are the uh, botanical name of that drug and it consists of dried tubers dried tubers is a part of plant which is used as drug and family is diasporaceae diasporaceae is a family and these are the various uh, species and in that dried tubers they are used as a part of plant which is used as a drug geographical source diasporia it is found in north america japan china mexico india nepal in india that plant grows widely in western himalayas karnataka kashmir west bengal apart from that it is also cultivated that commercial cultivation it is carried out in tamil nadu west bengal maharashtra karnataka jammu kashmir all these uh, areas there where the commercial cultivation of that drug is carried out now cultivation and collection for cultivation and collection uh, diasporia plants that can be grow in a wide variety of soil but the light soil is good as uh, as harvesting for tubers and extremely heavy soils are in general not recommended as they restrict the tuber growth and make harvesting difficult so the soil which is used uh, for uh, proper growth and cultivation is the sandy loamy soil is most suitable for its cultivation and uh, whereas the soil which is uh, heavy uh, clay soil that is not recommended for its cultivation because it will restrict the tuber growth as well as it makes the harvesting difficult and the ideal soil ph is 5.5 to 6.5 when we think about the climate the climate uh, which is uh, required for proper growth and cultivation of the plant is uh, humid climate is best suitable apart from that uh, if the uh, humid climate with 2 uh, to 3 months of cold winter then then it is a ideal uh, climate for its proper growth and development of the plant the and ph of the soil is 5.5 to 6.5 neutral pH. Generally, neutral pH is required for its uh, proper growth. Diasporia. It can be propagated by tuber, single node stem cuttings, or seed. Seed uh, sowing method. It is uh, used or raised for its uh, propagation, but uh, uh, it will result into variation in progeny as well as it, it requires longer time for its harvesting. and because of these disadvantages uh, the tubers are used for its uh, propagation variable in progeny and it makes longer time for its uh, harvesting uh, hence uh, tubers are prefer for its uh, propagation the tubers heavy tubers they are of 70 to 80 g in weight with crown uh, are selected for its um, Uh, for its cultivation and uh, the tubers uh, they should not be uh, get uh, rotten or uh, destroyed for that reason they are applied with the fungicides then they are uh, so uh, in the nursery bed and uh, it requires near about 30 to 40 days for uh, sprouting and when the growth of plant become 2 to 3 months growth will occur then these tubers they are transplanted in the field at a distance of 30 to 60 cm so the tubers are selected healthy tubers they are of 70 to 80 g then they are uh, treated with fungicide to prevent the rotting of the tubers when they and then they are sown in the nursery bed when they are sown in the nursery bed Uh, uh, and they will produce a sprout uh, in within 30 to 40 days and near about after 2 to 3 months then they are transplanted in the field when they are transplanted in the field the distance is maintained that is 30 to 60 cm 
these um, uh, are the veins of uh, this uh, plant they are uh, delicate and they need uh, support for its optimum growth and these tubers are very uh, exhaustive they required a uh, farm yard manure and uh, near about 5 to 10 tons of uh, manure is uh, required per hectare uh, for its uh, uh, proper growth and development organic fertilizers that should be applied subsequently in equal doses at an interval of one month now uh, after uh, giving fertilizers and uh, manures then uh, the plant is harvested harvesting is done by deep flowing when uh, at it, uh, that harvesting is carried out at dormant season during this period the digestion content is found to be high as compared to other season then when the rhizomes they are dried they lose about 50 percent of their weight on drying so after harvesting then they are packed and then they are ready for the market this is about the cultivation and collection of diasporia tubers if you like my video please press the like button and subscribe my channel thank you